Yo, what is good, Rice Ball Gang? Today, we do have some more Bleach, and last time, we watched episode 119, and we basically got to see Ikaku's backstory and how he met Kenpachi, and towards the end of the episode, we got to see the conclusion between Ikaku versus that one Arankar. I, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I think it's like Idrod or Idorod. I, I, I really don't know how to pronounce it. Um, so before we do get into it, I do have an announcement because it's been brought to my attention and I, I've known about this for a while. In my comment section, it is very toxic and a lot of people like to complain because of the upload schedule and yes i understand i've been pretty silent but you gotta understand too that i am a human just like everybody else and i have my own damn problems i am not obligated to make an update post every single day if i'm not gonna upload because i'm not gonna talk about my personal life for the cool people that actually do comment and stuff i'm sorry i don't read the comments because people spoil or are, are just toxic so if any of you cool people that are actually like positive and show your support all the time i do apologize for that i i'm not able to read your comments but if you really do want to reach me directly please join the discord the link is in the description because i've been in there like every day just been talking to a bunch of you guys and it, it's really dope so yeah like i said sorry for kind of starting off the episode this way but i just like i said i just had to address it but anyway let's just finally get into this bleach episode yep the boy ikaku got the dub bro oh but back to grim Zhao. yeah bro there's no way rookie is dead from that so yeah, this this dude was uh, smacking around Zabi Maru. Dude, there are literally like five different fights going on. It's looking a little rough for the Soul Reapers right now, except except for Ikaku. Man's busted out the Bankai, but but yeah, it, it looks like it definitely looks like the Arankars are giving them trouble. So, wait, does he have his Bankai out? Oh shit. An ugly bastard, bro. Damn! So Hitsugaya was using his Bankai. Oh, okay, Renzi. So he's got his Bankai out too. Yeah, bro. He's just he's just dodging, bro. Brother, what the hell? Damn! Damn, come on, Rinji. Dude, Zabi... Zabi Maru's always getting smacked around, bro. And after seeing this, because, like, last arc, the Bankai was really hyped up. And then these dudes just stepped in here and is like, oh, yeah, Bankai kind of ain't shit, bro. <laughs> The only way I'm, I'm really thinking is if the Soul Reapers have another power, but I don't, I don't think they do. Damn, he's fast. Damn. So is this dude faster than Byakuya? Cause did it, did it Rinji block him? Or am I just tripping? And why does he keep calling him brother? Oh god. <laughs> it's fucking Mayuri's people. Going to get permission for what? Do they have like some sort of like bomb or like some nuke or some shit? <laughs> it looks like some captains might have to step in, but I, I don't know, man. Because if they're giving Hitsugaya trouble with his Bankai out, I don't know, dude. The Soul Society is looking like they're in a bad spot. Oh, shit. So she's dreaming about that. Yeah, those mod souls ain't gonna do shit, bro. Bro, this dude hasn't even released his Zompakdo either. Oh, what the hell? Huh? Did he... Did he just disappear? Wait. Did he... Did he... 
create like an illusion? Whoa, 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 what the hell? Oh, is that one of the mod souls? Oh, it's one of these people. Okay, I mean, I mean, I guess it's cool that these dudes stepped in, but bro, they, they're gonna die. <laughs> I mean, at least they're trying to help, though. I mean... I, bro, I, 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 I'm sorry. I, I do just want to point this out. I like how they're saying they will manage against this dude. When Rinji's over here out with this fucking Bonkai, and he's not able to keep up, and then these clowns are like, oh, yeah, well, we just made a shadow clone. Now we'll definitely manage. I'm sorry. That, that just kind of doesn't make sense. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? I mean, I guess it's tripping this dude out. Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm sorry. I couldn't see this man losing like that. Damn! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I'm sorry, bro. They, these dudes were not going to be able to do anything, bro. Bro, I'm sorry. Like, I, I know this anime came out so long ago, but the animation just looked kind of goofy. Like, 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 look at this, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, she's like, ah! Bro, look at, look at how she fell, bro. Oh my god, she looks possessed. It's affecting her. Oh my god! Oh my oh my god! Oh my oh. What? Bro, I swear, this is anime's most OP lolly, bro. Actually, we kind of saw her look like this whenever she'd fought Ichigo that one time. And then I think Urahara had to stop her because her eyes went like blank. Oh my god! Dude, she's fucking scary. Bro, they should have let her fight from the get-go. What the fuck? What the fuck? She's just... Rinji really got showed up by a lolly. Rinji really got shown up by a little girl, bro. Dude, she fucked this man up. This... This man can't talk shit now. I'm sorry. Oh my god, is he gonna release his shit? Del Toro. Oh shit! Oh, so he's like a bull. It's kind of like a bull. Oh shit. Oh! She got impaled! Oh, Jinta? Oh, he's going in! Yeah, bro, they, they got that thick ass armor. Oh my god! Okay, Rinji. Dude, I don't know how they're gonna break through his armor, bro. But damn, bro. <laughs> bro, all I'm saying, though, is that was the last thing I expected. Like, like, what are some of these fights, bro? Like, <laughs> like the Ikaku and Idorado fight was totally unexpected, let alone his Bankai. And now Ururu trying to catch some bodies out here, bro. Oh? Oh, the ice? Okay, Hitsugaya. Oh, oh, he froze him. Oh, but he broke through. Oh, a counterattack? He probably didn't get him, though. Oh. So he doesn't have that much time left, then. Oh, it's incomplete. Okay, I guess that makes sense, because Ikaku has been around for a while, and he's mastered his Bankai. Whereas, where I, I, I kind of forgot that Hitsugaya is a child and Rinji also had just learned his and it takes time to master it. Okay, so he's showing him a little respect. Maximum fighting power? I mean, it's respectful, but it's a little overkill. Oh, shit. What the hell? Oh, what? He didn't even... He just went like that! Oh, yeah, bro. He, he can't back down. 
But dude, he's... <laughs> Hitsugai is gonna get his cheeks clapped. Undecimo. I don't, I don't know what that means. Oh, the 11th. Oh, okay. So I guess they're, so their numbers determine how strong they are. Oh, okay. Oh, order of birth. Oh, shit. Are called the Espada. Oh, no. Is it Grimjow? Oh, shit. It's fucking Grimjow. Um, um, and of course, he has to be the one that goes up against the main character. And the only way I'm thinking right now that Ichigo is going to get out of this, as we all know, is plot armor. But I think it's going to be a really dope fight. And I'm I'm really interested to see. How oh, Ichigo is going to overcome this. Because I know plot armor is probably going to be involved somehow. But the only thing I'm, I'm really thinking of is Ichigo's hollow mask is going to get involved somehow maybe. I'm thinking that is going to maybe amplify his power in some way. Um. Um. Or he's probably honestly disappointed. <laughs> yeah, bro, Ichigo's gonna have to go Bankai right off the back. Oh, here we go! Okay! Yeah, bro, that fat spiritual pressure, bro. Is it ready yet? Huh? What, what are they trying to get ready? Oh, no. It's a radio. Ginte Kaijo. Oh, whoa. A tat on her titty? Okay. So well, what is this? Okay. All right. What, what is this? So... What, what the... F so... I'm assuming that thing is like a big ass nuke or something. Or it could be something like, oh, it, it gives them more like spiritual pressure. But it looks like they're trying to one shot all of these dudes at once. But yeah, dude, um, this episode, to say the least, um, was unexpected just like the last because Ururu was catching some bodies, bruh. Honestly, bro, they should have let her fight from the get go because she literally bashed that dude's face in. Um, so I, I wonder what is up with her because Urahara and his people are still such like a big mystery because it looks like she, I don't know, it looks like she has two personalities, bro, because she, she looks like this adorable, just innocent little girl, but nah, bro, she will beat the fuck out of you. Um, so I wonder if she's, she has like, if she's like a weapon in a sense, because we know Urahara was the old, um the captain of like the old research and development so i wonder what what other things he's tampered with in the past and if ururu is maybe one of those things but going back to where um shaolong was talking about the aronkars and the espada i am curious to see how much more stronger the espada are compared to the aronkars and i i wonder if it's gonna be similar to like the gap between a lieutenant and a captain or if it's going to be something far more greater but we, dude we are going to have to see because from the looks of it from the beginning the soul society was down bad bro but anyway guys i am going to keep this intro a little bit shorter today but this is going to wrap up today's bleach reaction so if you guys did enjoy make sure you drop a like and subscribe become a part of the rice ball gang today but anyway, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Yeah.
Run up on me, I'ma shoot shit sparking Fucking your bitch in the back of the apartment Just came back with that line, but need a parking Fuck on my territory, bitch, I just marked it They trippy, feel like I'm whipping a faucet Bitches keep talking shit like, have you lost it? Walking mad stupid like you off narcotics I got a blink and you know that I spark it Whipping Ferraris, I stay exotic Bitch talking mad loud, shine like she barking That's for Chanel, you definitely lost it